Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're continuing our reading of the Quran. I have already finished this entire Quran during Ramadan 2021. Finished it in a month. But we're doing it here on the channel because I really want to make sure I read as many Quran translations as humanly possible. Let's begin. Bismillah rahman rahim Picking up, we're in Surah 4 An-Nisa. Okay, number 65. But no, by your Lord, they will not truly believe until they make you, O Muhammad, a judge concerning that over which they dispute among themselves, and then find within themselves no discomfort from what you have judged, and submit in full willing submission. And if we had decreed upon them, kill yourselves or leave your homes, they would not have done it, except for a few of them. But if they had done what they were instructed, it would have been better for them and a firmer position for them in faith. And then we would have given them from us a great reward. And we would have guided them to a straight path. And whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger, those will be with the ones upon whom Allah has bestowed favor of the Prophets the steadfast affirmers of truth, the martyrs and the righteous, and excellent are those as companions. That is the bounty from Allah, and sufficient is Allah as a knower. O you who have believed, take your precaution, and either go forth in companies, or go forth all together. And indeed, there is among you who lingers behind. And if disaster strikes you, he says, Allah has favored me in that I was not present with them. But if bounty comes to you from Allah, he will surely say, as if i.e. showing that there had never been between you and him any affection. Oh, I wish I had been with them so I could have attained a great attainment. So let those fight in the cause of Allah, who sell the life of this world for the hereafter, and he who fights in the cause of Allah and is killed or achieves victory, we will bestow upon him a great reward. And what is the matter with you that you fight not in the cause of Allah and for the oppressed among men, women, and children who say, Our Lord, take us out of this city of oppressive people and appoint for us from yourself a protector and a point for us from yourself a helper those who believe in those who believe fight in the cause of Allah and those who disbelieve fight in the cause of Agut so fight against the allies of Satan indeed the plot of Satan has ever been weak Have you not seen those who were told, Restrain your hands from fighting, and establish prayer, and give zakah? But when fighting was ordained for them, at once a party of them feared men as they fear Allah, or with even greater fear. They said, Our Lord, why have you decreed upon us fighting? If only you had postponed it for us for a short time. Say, the enjoyment of this world is little, and the hereafter is better for he who fears Allah. And injustice will not be done to you, even as much as a thread inside a date seed. Wherever you may be, death will overtake you, even if you should be within towers of lofty construction. But if good comes to them, they say, this is from Allah. And if evil befalls them, they say, this is from you. Say, all things are from Allah. So what is the matter with those people that they can hardly understand any statement? What comes to you of good is from Allah. But what comes to you of evil, O man, is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Muhammad, to the people as a messenger. And sufficient is Allah's witness. 
He who obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah. But those who turn away, we have not sent you over them as guardian. And they say, we pledge obedience. But when they leave you, a group of them spend the night determining to do other than what you say. But Allah records what they plan by night. So leave them alone and rely upon Allah. And sufficient is Allah as a disposer of affairs. Then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. And when there comes to them something, i.e. information about public security or fear, they spread it around. But if they had referred it back to the messenger or to those of authority among them, then the ones who can draw correct conclusions from it would have known about it. And if not for the favor of Allah upon you and his mercy, you would have followed Satan, except for a few. So fight, O Muhammad, in the cause of Allah. You are not held responsible, except for yourself, and encourage the believers to join you, that perhaps Allah will restrain the military might of those who disbelieve. And Allah is greater in might and stronger in exemplary punishment. Whoever intercedes for a good cause will have a share, i.e. reward therefrom, and whoever intercedes for an evil cause will have a portion, i.e. burden therefrom. And ever it is Allah over all things a keeper. And when you are greeted with a greeting, greet in return with one better than it, or at least return in like a manner. Indeed, Allah is ever over all things an accountant. Allah, there is no deity except Him. He will surely assemble you for account on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. And who is more truthful than Allah in statement? What is the matter with you that you are two groups concerning the hypocrites? Well, Allah has made them fall back into error and disbelief for what they earned. Do you wish to guide those whom Allah has sent astray? And he whom Allah sends astray, then will you find for him a way of guidance? They wish you would disbelieve as they disbelieved, so you would be alike. So do not take from among them allies until they emigrate for the cause of Allah. But if they turn away, i.e. refuse, then seize them and kill them wherever you find them and take not among them any ally or helper. Except for those who take refuge with a people between yourselves and whom is a treaty, or those who come to you. Their hearts strained at the prospect of fighting you or fighting their own people. And if Allah had willed, he could have given them power over you and they would have fought you. So if they remove themselves from you and do not fight you and offer you peace, then Allah has not made for you a cause for fighting against them. You will find others who wish to obtain security from you and to obtain obtain security from their people. Every time they are returned to the influence of disbelief, they fall back into it. So if they do not withdraw from you or offer you peace or restrain their hands, then seize them and kill them wherever you overtake them and those we have made for you against them a clear authorization. And never is it for a believer to kill a believer except by mistake. And whoever kills a believer by mistake, then the freeing of a believing slave and a compensation payment, the uh, presented to his, i.e. the deceased family, is required, unless they give up their right as charity. But if he, i.e. the deceased, was from a people at war with you, and he was a believer, then... Only the freeing of a believer in slave. And if he was from a people with whom you have a treaty, then a compensation payment presented to his family and the freeing of a believing slave. 
and whoever does not find one or cannot afford to buy one, then instead a fast for two months consecutively, seeking acceptance of repentance from Allah, and Allah is ever-knowing and wise.